And so when I just I want to just really break down just what it what it means to be black in America, like I think it means to be powerful. It should mean that. But it seemed like all black men just want to be women. Black men are supposed to be degenerates. Black men are supposed to be poor. Black men are supposed to be feminine. And all these things are acceptable to the black community. But as soon as I'll be a powerful black man, as soon as I want to raise my family the way that I see fit, then all of a sudden it's toxic masculinity. Oh, yeah. I'm Mm pro-white. I'm a white supremacist. You're conservative. Like, I don't even see what's wrong with being a conservative. That's what that's what everything was built on. Conservative values, family, uh, husband, wife, children. It, it, all of these things that we are trying to write off are the things that were the foundation of this. That's the foundation of all society, man. And for you to ignore that, there is it's impossible to have. I think they look at Wonder Woman and they say Wonder Woman came from uh, the Amazonian queens yeah, and yeah. it's all Amazonians. I'll say where them daddies at. <laughs> Ain't none. Ain't none. They trying to make it to where the woman is just as powerful as the man when <laughs> that is not the case. Men and women are not equal. Hey, Amazonia must have a sperm bank in the center of it as a capital. Uh, something. <laughs> they, got, was... they got some, uh, some, some something over there that they impregnating themselves with. How are y'all procreate this this fallacy, this thing? I, I don't know. Maybe they're dinosaurs. They're like uh, half frogs or something. You know, amphibians can. Well, all the men that they killed, they probably took all their sperm and they froze it, <laughs> put it in a sperm bank. We try to live out comic book lives instead of accepting their actual biological reality. And that's destroying America. Mm. And I'm asking black Americans to, hey, you don't live in Africa. Your grandmama didn't live in Africa. Your great, great, great grandmama didn't live in Africa. No ties to Africa whatsoever. I'm an African. I'm an African. African American. <laughs> I'm gonna put a hyphen, I'm a hyphenated American. And then when I laugh at you, you get offended at me. But I'm like, bro. You don't even have the respect for yourself to accept the place that you live at. I, when they tell me they're African-American, I, I'd be like, tell me your, show me your lineage. They, they don't have none. <laughs> they, even if they did, they don't know it. So how can you automatically assume just because I have black skin that you were from Africa? For me, like to live in this delusion, the way that we act as black folks, the way that, man, get mad at me, get mad at me. The way that black women act, they want to buy someone else's hair. They want to put on someone else's eyelashes. They want to wear someone else's fingernails. And they cover their face with all types of shit. You are worse than a transgender person. You are. I think you're promoting it. Because even like transgender people understand that they're not what they want to be. And they aspire to do that. You're doing everything in your power to look different. Yeah. And that, that, that it makes me angry. Because I would love to love the natural born American woman. But you don't even want to love yourself. Man, you wake up and you wake up next to that person. They look like a whole nother person. If I reject all the makeup and all the wigs and all the bull job, you tell me I don't love women. But if more men made that a standard, I'd blame men. If men made that more of a standard for a woman to take all that foolishness off and be her true self, then I believe women would be more inclined to do so. I absolutely positively agree. But men are such thir- like all they, they they're so hungry for some coochie. Yeah, and I'm like, man. Your purpose and your principles have to come above coochie. Absolutely. But you, you'll you sacrifice your belief system to go get a piece of vagina, and then you get mad at the woman leaving you. She going to do that. You ain't got no value You, you have nothing. You you bring nothing to the table. She can go get a doggone uh, uh, a dildo or something and do the same thing you're doing. 